lot of great water bowman patterns out there and Brent has his own special tie. So coming up is Brent's water bowman. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook we're going to use a dry fly size 10 to 12. We'll tie with some 6 aught brown thread. For the shell back we use some thin skin molted oak, some pearl crystal flash for the underbelly, some hare's ear crystal dub for the body, and some goose bites for the legs. I like to use a, just a dry fly hook so it operates in the water. Just a little more movement involved there. We're going to dress the hook shank again here like we did before. All our flies. A little underbody, I'll use some pearl crystal flashes just to imitate the bubble that the uh, water boatman goes to the surface. So you swim the surface, grab a little water or bubble of air, I should say, and uh, then they swim back down. This thin skin comes on a cardboard strip. We just cut it in, uh, this would be about a one eighth size strip. I'm cutting it off here, just peel the thin skin, and there will be a shiny side and a dull side. We want to tie it dull side up for now, and this will get pulled over for the top of the shell back. Now I'll just throw my half hitch there to keep my thread at the back of the fly. We're just going to dub, we're going to use our crystal dub hairs here. Now you see here by spinning that I can keep that quite buggy, which also grabs a little bit of natural air. I'm going to dub the back part of this fly just a little bit thicker. We're going to go about halfway, and then we'll tie on our legs. So we'll just grab our goose bites here and take a couple off. They have a natural curve to them, as you can see there. I'm going to lay the curved side out, and the tip will be to the end of the bend. And I'll tie one on each side. We'll wrap it down very firmly. So I don't like to dub the whole body because the legs will pull out. I'll lay one on this side to me and tie it on as well. Then I'll trim the butts of the uh, goose pilots off here. Throw another half hitch on there and dub the front part of the fly, the front part of the body. And that won't be quite as thick as the rear. I want to get a little bit of a shape to it. And we'll go forward. Now we'll pull our underbody forward with our pearl crystal flash. I'm going to get a few turns here to secure it down. Now I won't cut that off at this point because it could pull out. So what I do is pull back on my crystal flash back over itself and tie back over itself once more. So that will be a lot more secure. So all we do now is we pull our thin skin. This is mottled oak. It's got a natural color. It looks very much like a natural. Over the top. And that is the shiny side, is what you're going to see now of that thin skin. That will be secured there. Put a large thread head on there. And we'll finish that off. So there's our uh, Brent's Boatman. You see the pearl underneath imitates the air bubble that they grab. The little goose bite so imitate the legs. And of course the shiny shell back of a Boatman. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.